the first book on my list is The Six Sidekicks of Trigger Keaton. Um, this is just a, just a fun book, easy read. Uh, so if you just want to escape from other things, you might want to check that out. Another book here is Bermuda, another fun escape read, um, fantasy, uh, but the artwork and the colors in this book are tremendous. Uh, highly recommend it. Dark Ages, the interior artwork in this book is amazing. I am loving it. It is so great, um, but this is a cool, cool title, uh, Dark Ages. If you are a Marvel fan, please check this book out. The creative team of Scotty Young and Jorge Corona, The Me You Love in the Dark, this weird, dark, awesome book. Um, here's my favorite panel from this book, but just a strange one. <laughs> yep, I have a DC book on here, Batman the Imposter. Um, the layouts in this book have been... Were here's one right here. Oh my goodness. Tremendous. Absolutely amazing. I love this book. Check it out. Layla Star, my first Ram V title, um, the first one I've ever read, and I was hooked, especially after reading this issue right here, number three. If you have not read this book, highly, highly recommend you check it out. Oh, man, barbaric. What an, uh, just an awesome read, just exciting from beginning to end. A bloodthirsty axe. I mean, what? That screams at him? I mean, come on, let's go. You gotta, you want more. Oh, nice house on the lake. I've been hooked since the first book. Um, it's pretty much probably on everyone else's list, but the twists and turns from this book have just been bonkers, and um, just I've been loving it. Beta Ray Bill, my favorite Marvel book this year. Daniel Warren Johnson knocks this out of the park. You absolutely feel for this character through every book, and the last issue is amazing. Check that out. Number one book, surprised the hell out of me this year, and I absolutely loved it, Stray Dogs. What a surprise. Oh, I mean, I brought a tear to my eye in one of the books. So, anyway, love this book. Here's my list for 2021. <laughs>